There is some encouraging news to report tonight in the fight to stop the COVID-19 outbreak, both nationally and locally. And, and the one question was, have these measures worked? And I think we're seeing the effect of it. As I told you, we're seeing a flattening of our curve early on. We're, we're seeing a, an earlier peak and a much lower peak, um, which is exactly what we'd hope for. The Yellowstone County Health Officer telling City Council tonight that it appears that that hand washing and social distancing is making a difference. New data shows a major drop in projected confirmed cases, hospital impact and COVID-19 deaths. That projection model being used by the White House Coronavirus Task Force appears to be easing up on potential damage across Montana. Big difference from just last week. Today, that model shows the number of projected deaths drastically dropping from 270 to 22 in the state. The University of Washington says modeling projections change and with more data collected, it appears that social distancing is working. The model has also scaled back the projected number of hospital beds from 852 to 45 and ICU beds from 129 needed to eight. Here in Montana, the report also shows the peak resource needed for hospitals has been moved from April 26th earlier to April 13th. Well, tonight, Billings City Council heard an update on the COVID-19 crisis, how it's impacting both our health and our economy. Q2's Mitch Leggy joins us now with more from the council meeting. Mitch. Well, Russ, Felton is encouraged by the new University of Washington projections, showing that the state of Montana may peak in COVID-19 cases 15 days earlier than expected. Here's a look at the projections for deaths in the state of Montana. Felton said that the flat line you see through the month of April should be an encouraging sign. This is the flattened curve that everyone's been talking about for the past few weeks. While Felton said social distancing orders have kept the numbers low, Billings Mayor Bill Cole encouraged cautious optimism. Pleasantly optimistic that uh, the very worst case scenarios have not materialized since we spoke almost three weeks ago. And I find that to be encouraging and, and reason for at least cautious optimism. But this is not the time for any of us or our residents uh, to let up on our efforts uh, to contain the virus. Now, recreation at the Billings Public Parks also came up at the meeting. City officials wanted to reiterate that the grassy open areas of the Billings Parks will remain open. However, areas where social distancing cannot be maintained, like playground areas and basketball hoops, will be closed to the public. Russ? All right, thank you, Mitch.